Oh wow, look at that, I'm recording. Cool. Hey, how's it going? I am Chris over at the Lighthouse Keeper's Assistant slash 3D Palace. Great to see you. If you're old, you may remember me as Old Blue back from the day. Now, what I've got here is Unreal Engine version 5.1. And a lot of people have had issues with Shader Model 6 and Nanite when it comes to um, landscape materials and specifically things like your landscape foliage. Because the thing is, now we can convert our landscape foliage to Nanite. But if you convert your landscape foliage to Nanite without enabling Shader Model 6, then what will happen is it'll automatically fall back to a low level of detail, okay? And basically your foliage will not look nice. It'll just look, you know, rubbishy foliage. You can see here, this is a an area of my map with some foliage in. Now this is all working, okay? But if you don't do it properly, there's a good chance it's going to crash for you. So I'm here to explain to you about Shader Model 6 and how to make it work without getting into technical stuff, okay? Because that drives me crazy. So first things first, what you want to do is ensure, okay, this is a weird one, but if you look for async loading screen, a lot of people have this because it was a nice plugin to enable loading screens. Ensure that is turned off, okay, because it has issue with that. Secondly, go to your GeForce Experience or your AMD Makey good panel thing, I don't know, whatever it is, okay, and just ensure that your drivers are up to date. There was a brand new driver released only a couple of days ago for NVIDIA, so I've grabbed that. Next, take a backup of everything, okay, doesn't matter if it's going to take hours, just take a backup. Make sure your backup's secure. Then, go to your directory where you keep your foliage so in my case for example i would go to megascans 3d plants and i would choose every single static mesh in here just to save myself some time and then just right click nanite enable once i've enabled nanite i can then go into my mesh and i might also want to click preserve area just that it kind of maintains its shape um, as we come out and go in and all that kind of thing Okay, the next thing you'll want to do is you want to enable shadow uh, virtual maps. Uh, okay, so for that, you will want to go to edit project settings. So here's how we enable, by the way, SM6. So for SM6, we come down to Windows. There it is there. So I've enabled that. That's a full reboot. Hold off on your reboot, though, just for the moment. Because what we also need to do is go to rendering. And if you come down here, come down here. Shadow map method, shadow map beta okay virtual so just enable all those and restart okay don't panic as long as you've taken a backup you will be fine and as you can see my sm shader model 6 is working absolutely the way that i want it to so i am completely happy now if i come over here i do have some other stuff that needs converting over to sm6 but i've got it unloaded because um i'm using the world partition system. So I'll unload this region and then it means I can turn this from lit to unlit. Still see my big main landscape here and I can go off and work on that. Okay, so I hope you find that useful. Um, it is important obviously for those of us who have crashing SM6 errors and I will get that uploaded. Take it easy. Love you. Bye bye.